Hi friends, today it's time to go over my TBR for the Buzzwordathon. That's right, it's time for the Buzzwordathon again. This time, the Buzzwordathon will be running from November 18th through the 24th, and our word this time is actually numbers. So it can be like a numeral or just like the number or the word written out. There's so many rules and regulations that things that Lala is including. So I will link her video in the description box below so that if you want to check out the original uploaded video and learn all of the things that are included, that will be there for you. Also just check out Lala's channel because Lala is amazing and if you have seen any of my videos, you've probably seen all of hers because she's way more popular than I am. And that's just the thing. So within being able to read a book that has any number in it, I went through all of my shelves, picked off everything that wasn't part of a series that I haven't started yet, and came up with a whopping total of three books. Now, I have almost 200 unread books on my shelves, so finding three was unexpected. I thought it would be a lot higher than that but three it is. I will most likely not be reading all three of these books, mostly because I also plan to do the contemporary thon like the weekend edition that's going to take place the last three days of this readathon. So I'm planning on reading one book, I just don't know which one, so I'm going to tell you the three that I have, and then maybe you guys can help me pick which one I should prioritize. So the first is The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. Uh, I got this on Book Outlet a while ago. Also, giant sticker, need to take care of that. I'm not really 100% sure what this one is about, but I believe it follows a world where the higher up you live in the high rise, the more money you have, I think. And then I have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've never read any of Taylor Jenkins Reid's books. This one was very popular last year. I got it via Book of the Month. Interested in this one, but don't know if I'll love it because it's not really my type of book, but maybe who knows. And then the third, which is the one I'm leaning to the most, is Because You Love to Hate Me, 13 Tales of Villainy and this is one that is um, short story collection and mainly because it has Susan Dennard in it and it's like the one thing of hers that I haven't read yet so this is kind of what I'm leaning towards reading for the week. I don't know for sure so let me know how you feel about those. Also the other thing is I have been reading for several years James Patterson's Women's Murder Club books and those are all like first to die, second degree, third, whatever. Like they're all like a number and then whatever the title of the book is, the rest of it is. And I think he just published like the 19th or 20th one. I don't remember, but I think I'm only up to like 15 or 16. So I may also get one of those out on audiobook and read it as well during the week. Don't know for sure, but also a possibility if I need an audiobook during the week. I haven't been buying those because they're not like my favorite, but I feel invested in it. Like I've read 15 books from the series, so I feel invested enough to like loan the audiobook out and continue reading it. That's also on my radar. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on taking part in the Buzzwordathon. And again, let me know if you've read any of these books and let me know which one you think I should prioritize. I am again leaning toward the because you love to hate me purely for Susan Dennard reasons. That is all I have for today. I was reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you don't want to miss anything that I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!